Hello everybody, in today's video I would like to talk about what are the new features of Windows Edible Build 22563. So there is all the all new tablet optimized taskbar so you can enable or disable it while you are in tablet mode by right clicking on the start menu. A problem that I notice is that right clicking on the start menu does not work. Whenever I right click there it just hangs. So let's go to taskbar settings and from there you can definitely go to taskbar behavior and there you will find an option for enabling or disabling the hiding of the taskbar. So when you hide the taskbar uh, something like this will be shown. So let me just automatically hide the taskbar. As you can see when I move the mouse here there you get this uh, that is the tablet op optimized taskbar that they are telling from where uh, it prevents you from accidentally closing the applications. When you swipe up from there the taskbar appears. So that's it. Now in the widgets tab there are some changes. So if you go to the widgets tab you will find that this division of widgets and news are no more present is no more present and instead of that there is one single stream of data that is there similar to this one that we can see here you don't find this add widgets option there and instead you will find this one single line that is coming so also there is a plus button that is added here probably for adding more widgets if you want to now there is also a new feature about the windows update that they have done so if you go to start and then head over to policy editor so they are basically al uh, allowing for IT admins in education they have added a new policy with uh, for the students keeping it in mind uh, to avoid distractions about notifications on Windows update so uh, they will be able to provide better experience while staying complaint as the notifications will start to show again if the user action is needed and the device reaches the deadline though hopefully most uh, devices are automatically restart overnight and when the student is not using then in that time they can automatically update but whenever the the person is using using the computer it will avoid showing any windows update notification in order to prevent distraction for this feature to see you can open the policy editor and there head over to computer configurations and then under computer configurations you can go to administrative templates and head over to windows components and let's search for windows update under this and there go to manage end user experience and then finally display for display options for update notifications when you open this you can enable disable or change other settings that you like in this place also there are some addition of new features in the file explorer if you open the file explorer you can now in under quick access you can um, search for locations that if you search for a file the search has been expanded to include contents from OneDrive downloads and any indexed locations so you can quick uh, use quick access to find results faster now files in the quick access without any local presence for example the files that you share from another OneDrive now will start showing the thumbnails and to work with OneDrive sharing now it is also easier with snap assist that they have added a new feature they will be showing the tabs that are there in Microsoft Edge so the most three most recent tabs are shown here for example if I click on this you can see that this tab opens up and again if we break the snap let's minimize and bring it here then you can find that if, we, if I click on the other one it comes over there so you can switch between any, th any tab and keep it beside you while working. Also this, all these settings can be also managed by going to settings and under system we need to go to multitasking and there under multitasking you can select the number of tabs of Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Edge that is shown there. Also starting with this build there are several new features with the emoji. There are 37 new emoji characters that has been added in the emoji pika as a part of the emoji 14.0 and some of the new emojis that are there is the melting face that is this one and then we have what they call troll this then we have the coral emoji which is this one we have the new beans emoji this also there's 
a playground slide emoji and finally a mirror ball which is this one so there are several new emojis that has been added up in windows 11 also they have added the new feature to add uh, skin tones change the skin tones that are there for example in the handshake you can click and click on the add button and you can change the color so you can make one color like this and change the other other like this or make it like this whatever you like so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching there are also several new fixes that are there and uh, i will be linking them in the description you can go and click the documentation from there to watch uh, to read everything thank you so much for watching do subscribe like and share i'll catch you in the next one